Welcome back to the Nutramedical Report and the uh, remarkable super activist, uh, Deborah Tavares, dealing with not only the climate uh, weaponization of the planet Earth, I call it the weaponizing of weather, uh, weather weapons, and um, she's got some remarkable websites, in fact, uh, ToxicSky.org, SmartMurders.com, and I love your uh, use of uh, the uh, hyperbole there, that's very important, Smart Murders, because that's what they are, Smart Murders, StopTheCrime.net, and when, there's some source documents on your website, and they StopTheCrime.net, I guess, would be considered the center website. We continue the dialogue from last week. We had an amazing interview, and we're going to continue doing these regularly. Uh, Deborah, um, lay it all out. What, what do the source documents say? We talked about this a bit last time. And then I'm going to strain to the other 90% that people say that Dr. Deagle knows, but he usually doesn't talk about, that they're probably not going to hear from anybody else, including even people like... Uh, uh, guests on Coast to Coast Radio or Jeff Rents, uh and they kind of gnaw around the edges of the issue. I'm going to lay it out in such a way that uh, after, as we're going through this program, people will be, if they're not sitting down, they'll fall down. Uh, they need to understand the total dark majesty of evil that's gripping our world. It's well beyond human evil. It's well beyond just trying to control power. It's well beyond financial. It's well beyond even eugenics. Uh, the evil is of a level that's galactic and cosmic in proportions and literally is uh, <clears throat> hard for the what are called the average mortal decent human mind to comprehend. And that's why when you tell them about the toxicity and all the proven research from the U.S. government and the military, research in Russia and elsewhere about these toxic harmonic frequencies, people laugh at you like, ha, 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 you must be one of those conspiracy theorists. I'm thinking, you damned idiot. We get people like uh, Dr. Sam Millam. We get exercise uh, specialists in environmental medicine like uh, Dr. Uh, Robin Bernhoff, head of the American Academy of Environmental Medicine, president in the past. Uh, this is no joke. They've weaponized these weapons. In fact, uh, I can tell you, if I was working on scalar advanced weapons, I'd get an attaboy, and of course, they probably also have a death chip. So if I did misbehave, they just kind of hit the right frequency, tunable frequency, and they kill you with a microdose of these little microchips. What they have done is develop what we call the death ray, you know, like a Buck Rogers in the 25th century. The death ray, those on your house, smart meters, it's cell towers, it's harmonic frequencies from CFL uh, light bulbs in your ceiling that when they burst, they not only release magnesium, but uh, mercury, but what they do is the scalar frequencies literally to are toxic to your body as if you have mercury in your body. People don't understand this. Minerals, minerals are the keys to frequencies, like the frequency of water. It turns out the Zigbee network on all these smart meter systems, which is the main communication system with your appliances, is tuned to 2.4 gigahertz, which is the actual tunable frequency of all microwaves to heat water molecules by vibrating them, and to the entire water content of your body, which is a scalar informational superconductor solvent. It's literally an informational solvent, water. Water between your cells, in your cells, between the mitochondria, around the DNA. Water is an informational superconductor and when you have uh, these type of things just like you try to feed plants water it's from microwave it'll kill it because the scalar signals the informational signals in the water are disrupted when you put smart meters on your host you're not only irradiating you're also putting those frequencies right down the power lines and there are thousands and thousands of square miles with literally the smart meters in the same frequency the same carrier waves literally a as i say a hundred billion birds chirping the same song at the same frequency in the same cadence it makes your dna it makes your cells go crazy and what they're doing is they're foisting this on us because of a level of evil that people won't conceive so i want you to lay out some of the facts that are in documents and people say dr deagle you're just a nutcase you're da 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 you need to learn a skill i learned at age uh, four that later was expanded at age grade two and three it's called reading if you read their source documents, they say it straight out front exactly what they're doing. Absolutely, doing. they do. In yeah, fact, so, so Eagle, yeah, you were talking just about smart meters, so I want to add to that conversation <laughs> right this second. 
we have yeah. an enormous additional problem uh, with the frequencies being used as a silent weapon. As the source documents say, frequencies will and are being used instead of bullets. And I can tell you that frequencies, as, you, as we all know now, are compromising structural integrity of all structures. Why are we having so many buildings collapsing all over the world? Why are so many bridges collapsing in the United States? Um, if it's damaging us to the extent that it is, it is causing all structures to um, uh, collapse. And most recently, uh, Obama said that the health care costs will bankrupt America. Well, that's absolutely true. Uh, the frequency well, supplied it, it, will bankrupt totally our government. Well, he's for, for uh, he put the Monsanto bill through, which is protect Monsanto GMO foods. Well, of he's course, the reason that they're doing that is they're changing the pH in the soil so that only uh, mega Monsanto uh, creators Genesis programs will grow in our soils. This is a massive, <coughs> a massive heinous uh, attack upon all people. We are being shredded and collapsed well, right uh, now. Let me uh, let me ask you a question. I'll alleviate for a minute uh, so I can put people in the proper mindset. Um, if you were to summarize, if you were an archaeologist from a uh, future world, say 10 million years from now, and you were to come back to do some archaeological digs on the blue planet Earth and to find out why their civilization crashed, and you're coming from a advanced galactic council, and you were to summarize what happened on Earth, what would you say? Well, of course, we're being absolutely taken down by the most... Mm -hmm. The most uh, weaponized, silent weapon let me, let me, wait, 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 wait. That's at the lower level. Let me get it to the higher level. Oh, well. Uh, ask you a couple of questions. Uh, if you, you've seen the equations that look at the number of potential civilizations in our galaxy alone. Yes. There's, there's at least 200 billion stars, and there's probably at least 100 million civilizations that had well, some time or other over the last five trillion years have existed uh, in our galaxy alone. Uh, life is not just localized to our little blue planet. We know from asteroids and meteorites that their life is everywhere. And not only just our kind of life based on DNA, but probably other forms of organized, intelligent uh, beings of various types across the universe. Now, some of these, and we know as believers, some of these are uh, probably very good, and some of them are very damned evil. In fact, their idea of evil ethics exceeds our idea of Satan himself. In other words, you have to understand that we're dealing with that. If you actually look at for the record to try to be an archaeologist, and we've had experts on our program over the years, uh, if you actually look at it, you'll see every book, every ancient religious book, from the Bible to the Bhagavad Gita to the Upanishads to the records of the shamans in Africa like Kreta Mutwa and the oral records of the native peoples around the world, you can see our civilization, number one, is a lot older than we're told. Absolutely. Uh, and, it's cra and it's crashed previously. In fact, if you look at the Hopi Indians and talk about these various civilizations that have crashed, I know from my chemistry professor in 1972, who was not a religionist, traveled with a panel of American, European, and British scientists to North uh, West India and proved conclusively that there was a nuclear war between the areas of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Northwest India back around 13,000 years ago. A nuclear war, not, not meteors or comets, not space, you know, debris from something going on, but a nuclear war. <clears throat> uh, the very first briefing I had on July 10, 1994 from the U.S. Space Command, the director said, we don't want you to freak out because you're going to be, as a civilian doctor, working on contract projects with now Q-level security clearance, which is the same as the level the president gets. So we're going to tell you everything, so you don't freak out. Well, that's absolutely thing, right. And I the think first thing I wanted to tell start. me was, the first thing they wanted, let me finish, the first thing they wanted to tell me was that we're not alone in the universe, number two, that uh, the Dark Knight satellite is in polar orbit, which we've only been able to succeed in putting up at that time. This is 1994. We've uh, only succeeded in putting up polar orbits since around 1990. Uh, I asked them how old they thought the Dark Knight satellite was, which is bigger than the U.S. space station, out inside the Allen radiation belt in polar orbit, uh, out at 22,000 miles out. And he said that we estimate somewhere between 13 and 35,000 years old. Now, we know this is still operational, too, by the way. They know the signals. They've actually visited it, but haven't been able to get inside it, at least by that time. Um, the space program, by the way, they bifurcated civilization. It's already happened. Uh, you know, people say, have we gone back to the moon? Or have we ever visited the moon? Come on. They don't want you to know that they have mining operations on there since the early 60s or that they have a colony on Mars. This is real. This is not made up in my head. Be back in a moment. Welcome back.
back and uh, in the Bible it says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and wickedness in high places we're not just talking like Flip Wilson or Sammy Davis Jr. about people up in their head we're talking about not only in the mind sphere if you want to call our consciousness but also the evidence is in that the Bible for example one of my favorite scriptures to explain this is why my ministry and why my other websites called clay and iron because we're ruled over by human beings that are clay meaning human flesh and iron meaning trans-dimensional entities and beings from other worlds we have been interfered with genetically tampered with overruled by completely stymied by and 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 now the grand plan is to do a massive genocide in most of the human population and smart meters uh... weaponizing the weather putting nanoparticle uh... Uh, aluminum, barium, and, and uh, strontium in the upper atmosphere, they're all paramagnetic. And, of course, uh, thorium atoms, uh, I mean thorium rather than strontium, thorium atoms, every 50th thorium atom is by its very nature radioactive. And why are they doing this? It's not just out of greed, because one of the principles of business is you don't kill your customer. Uh, even if you're greedy, and there's a lot of billionaires that are listening to this program that I've been in contact with, over the time that are completely freaked out they realize that the people at the top aren't just interested in getting more money they're not even interested in getting more power they're even not interested in just getting more death it goes beyond it. it's a level of evil it's a galactic and cosmic war as it says the woe to you earth and you see for the devil and his minions have come down to you um, if you look at uh, Werner von Braun one of the last things he said to his people before he died was that the same thing as Ronald Reagan, there was going to be a staged alien invasion as part of the whole process. The current uh, Pope Francis said the same thing, uh, that we might unite the peoples of Earth. What people need to understand is we've been under the boot of an alien or trans-dimensional uh, overlords forever. And that's why when you see it in the external expression of Satanism, when you see this kind of behavior, this is not human. It's not even dealing with the, quote, the Gaia hypothesis of taking care of the Earth, because many of the things that they're doing are killing the Earth. Uh, as they weaponize the upper atmosphere and create a, literally a plasma by putting these nanoparticles, they increase superstorms, they increase earthquakes, they increase destruction of the benthic layer of the oceans, they increase ultraviolet degradation of the, of the ground cover that creates oxygen and the oxygen-hydrogen cycle, carbon dioxide cycle, that turns carbon dioxide back to oxygen. We have, uh, in literally... Uh, a, a, uh, an omnicidal plan not just to kill human beings but to kill everything on the planet to turn into a scoured dead cinder around a yellow dwarf star and that well, I want to tell you Dr. Dr. B that um, in the source documents on stopthecrime.net in the Iron Mountain report that was a blueprint for tyranny it was a documentary people can watch it in movie format they can also download the document itself it was a document that was uh, requested by top experts back in the early 60s, uh, shortly after John F. Kennedy was murdered. That uh, report was then given to uh, Johnson. Johnson said because of the content of this report, it is never to go out to the people. Well, this is why everybody tonight should watch the movie, The Iron Mountain Report, and understand exactly okay. what Dr. Google so, is saying right now. Because what you're, let me explain. The, the original, if you want to call it, over many centuries and eons, the, the most recent and most nasty invasion were the 200 that's cataloged in the Mount Horeb that came down uh, that were basically the amphibious people. They referred to them as the Dagon in Africa. They referred to them as the Gorgons. The fish people of the Philistines, or the Palestinians, which were being worshipped, including the temple to Dagon, where they brought the Ark of the Covenant, and of course the statue to Dagon fell over and was broken in pieces. The temple where Samson was held, before he pulled the pillars down and all the people there, was the temple of Dagon, which is these fish gods, these amphibious super beings that came from the constellation in the belt of Orion. This is a fact. It's right in the Bible. If you actually study the star signs with people like uh, uh, our, you know, with Jonathan, and we've talked about this before, uh, and you actually read his book, you can understand that all of this was knowledge that was pretty well known by the people, the priesthood class, right through the ancient world. It's not something new. And all the high, by the way, our, our current high priesthood is basically these secret agencies, the NSA, CIA, MI5, MI6, and all these ancient orders go right back to Atlantis and before. They're fully aware of this. They're fully aware that there was genetic manipulation occurring. It's all cataloged in the book of Jasher that's referred to uh, by James and by Jesus himself. Uh, this is the reason why, for example, the flood was sent, because it was getting rid of this hybridization monstrosities of satyrs, which are part human and, and, and 
out about the creation of these giants which are part Nephilim or the fallen ones basically these beings and so when we see this agenda you got to connect the dots if you don't connect the dots you'll say this doesn't make sense if you're you'll get to a point like the bug hitting the glass of the window and you say I don't understand this why did Deagle bring me this way and then their brain will either shut off they'll say well it doesn't exist and Deagle's got to be crazy or there's a greater scheme going on here that goes well beyond Battlestar Galactica or Star Wars or the Dark Empire that is far more malevolent far greater and far damn more damned evil than they can even imagine in their mortal uh, secular mind and that's the problem is we have the, a dumbed down population that doesn't want to hear the truth they don't want to hear the truth that we have a Muslim uh, Satanist in the White House in Obama well we have a regime that's not just for global secularism but an amalgam with Islam well their real goal is not just bringing America down but killing most of the population of Earth and the doorstop to that is a Christian America if America is Christian which is Ephra America I call it and we protect and save Israel and those two houses come together in the time of the end and God saves uh, not only Israel but saves the world because the eventual objective of these globalists and these monsters and these beings isn't just to reduce the human population and replace us with robots. As we talked to when robot alchemy was Tex Mars, we will be back on a program tomorrow talking about this. It's to end the recreation and the, uh, just like Jesus said, the, uh, the ascension of mankind. He said, greater than these things shall you do. In other words, the apostles were healing people. They, were, see, they had the knowledge of God. They could pray and receive uh, godly inspiration. There is no problem that our human beings cannot encounter that with the prayer of the Most High God, because we are of the same qualitative substance as Jesus. Not different. And what happens is, these beings are here to do literally come and do a galactic and cosmic abortion on mankind. Think of Satan and all the minions of all these beings of these worlds as a great galactic war as abortionists, all coming with masks on, gowned and gloved, to abort mankind in the spiritual womb called the blue planet Earth. That's what they're here for a massive genocidal abortion of mankind and if you think that we're just exaggerating you're a fool and you can spit on us all you want you're going to be crying when you realize just how horrifying this really is and how it's much worse than the movie V or Fallen Skies the new miniseries that's on cable television or well, Star Oblivion Wars is Star one, Trek. and there are many movies out that are socially engineering our subconscious. Well, to trying to steer the trying, these things. Well, they're trying to steer us to be can be victims. You see, absolutely. They, they want us to to take the victim complex. I am a son of the Most High God. I have the signet ring of the Creator. I have the right to call on my Father God to deliver us and deliver us personally. And I can tell you, as a prophet of the Most High God, not just a doctor, but as a prophet, apostle, priest of the Most High God, and a Kohenic son of Aaron, I call on the Most High God to open up the minds of those ignorant ones and those who need to cry out in sackcloth and ashes because the horror of what is coming is far beyond any big blockbuster movie that they can imagine. Absolutely. And it's here now. It's Fukushima. It's GMO food. It's poison vaccines. It's Obamacare. It's the frequencies. It's smart meters. Scalar television. Everything. Surveillance world. It's the mark of the beast. Welcome back to the Nutra Medical Report. And uh, let's get to the source documents. Now that people are prepped, they need to realize the vast panoply of evil that's going on. When we see uh, actors like Obama, he probably can't even know which part he has to read from a teleprompter. Uh, the swirl of conspiracies and, 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 and disasters that are occurring literally on a daily basis now is just the unraveling, but this is just throwing us a bone. Like when I hear them say, oh, they started to surveil Americans like after the Patriot Act, hogwash. Yeah, well, that's exactly security. right. In fact, Dr. Dr. Deagle, I wanted to tell everybody I'm, about... I'm waiting to get these source documents because this has been going on for as long as they could do it. They have been doing it. Surveillance, also uh, weaponizing broadband over power lines and dumping back dirty electricity into the ground or tell your currents. Anything that they can do toxic to the population, including things like vaccines, food, uh, mineral demineralization of the soil, round up rich crops so they can reduce human fertility and IQ and literally calcify the pineal gland, which is literally the connection between the cord of living waters, the silver cord, as it says in the Bible, that connects your soul to your physical body. Uh, they've done everything to attack the very nature of humanity. 
Absolutely. Everything. Absolutely. And also you can see the map, a globe of the world, with the harp arrays, and uh, you can see the heavy beams on our website sweeping across down the planet. And, and these are harp mind control transmissions that we are all under in the most direct and intrusive way that they're monitoring all of us and have been for quite some time. So this new revelation of the extent of surveillance is just yeah. to uh, pacify the, the reality that it is far deeper. They've been dropping nano dust on us, which uh, literally show the satellites even if a tree falls down in the forest. And we, and we know also many things. For example, right now they're uh, bringing in what they call Code for America. And uh, they are starting it in a number of cities. They're saying it's starting in um, uh, Las Vegas right now. And uh, on their home page, it is very alarming. It reveals increasing massive surveillance and data mining of all of the people and properties planned for all cities across America. And it's a program that has sensors yeah. on everything and will monitor all yeah. of society, everything. Yeah. They yeah, claim no, that this will be and bring a greater transparency for the citizens with their local governments and uh, that it will allow it's, the it's, local governments to check on people's homes to make sure they're living in what is considered a healthy home. They're going to be inspections, and there are already stakeholders standing by to go yeah. through homes that are deemed unhealthy to live in because you haven't painted well, it. Well, they, they want to do thermal imaging to tell you we're wasting electricity and the green agenda and all that stuff. Let me explain. Uh, back in 1994, when I got Q-level security clearance, and I was a civilian, we were on contract at CECOM, Colorado Center for Ahmed. My boss was Major George Swinder. Uh, we w took care of U.S. Space Command, Strategic Defense, Star Wars, uh, Directed Energy Weapons, and the Virtual World Project, among many others. The Virtual World Project, I took care of employees that followed me after I left there for up to six years, and I spent many hours talking to some of the senior people working in the Virtual World Project at Shriver Air Force Base. I've been inside the Quantum Array, miles down inside Shriver Air Force Base, which is a Cray-4 array that literally has an icon called a node for every individual in the first and second world with a database on every individual, every phone, fax, email, every communication, anything you've ever done. And in 2003, they launched an artificial intelligence, uh, if you want to call it super brain, that literally is not just these AI promise software, but an actual intelligent human being like mind that can think 100 trillion times faster. All the databases in the world have been feeding into this monster, creating a virtual copy of SimWorld, which is exactly like the Matrix. One Absolutely. of the options they're going to offer in the future is, of course, to wet wire people up and load them up in racks and life extension and literally let them just live in the cyber world. They no longer have to live in the physical world. The, people don't understand where the science is going in this. It is, it is galactic. It is cosmic evil. It is a battle between the creator of the universe and, and, uh, and, and rebels and destroyers. It is something that goes far beyond any big blockbuster movie you've ever seen on any television show. It is a level of evil that's given shadows through the Bible. People understand the milk and cookies level of this battle. They don't understand without faith in the Most High God, without prayer, without inspiration, without total knowledge of just exactly what we're up against. People are going to be completely, as it says in the Bible, because they believe not the truth, I shall send them a strong delusion. In other words, God's going to allow it a strong delusion, whether it's an alien invasion, another gospel, like gospel of, the, of this new Pope Francis that's saying he wants to baptize aliens. They want to believe that they're going to bring a greater gospel because they're higher beings than human beings. He's actually said this. People need to understand what's really going on. They need to understand when they're putting out smart meters, they're fully aware of these toxic frequencies. They're fully aware that these are toxic to human beings, their minds, bodies, and physical, that they cause a glutamate-like activity to cause blood pressure to go up, seizure activity, insomnia, mental behavior, hyperactivity, impulsive behavior, and, of course, they're also called a entrainment signal, which is just like entrainment we call wet wire software, cofactors like Splenda, Aspartame, MSG, and toxic GMO food. They increase your entraining or your frequency of your brain to fire in response to external pulse magnetic fields, which can put memes or ideas in your head, change your emotional state, make you passive. They want to make you a damned victim. And the society is determined whether it's the educational system or the so-called phony religious system that most of the churches are teaching milk and cookie Christianity, or they teach some form of false religions, like Islam, which is an anti-religion. But people don't understand the real basis is much of religion is not teaching people to have a relationship with the Creator, which is all Jesus taught. It's mind control. 
The same way as the educational system, the media system, the political system where nobody does anything. It's all designed as lies, just the economic system of printing infinite amounts of money but no credit. And only the super wealthy get wealthier and everybody else kind of just hangs behind just like Obamacare. These source documents you're talking about are no joke. This no, is literally not. signed. It should be signed in blood by Satan himself. And the well, following the Everybody Gorgons. needs to go to stopthecrime.net to the source yeah. document page. Download these documents while they're still available. I want to tell you, they've talked about a power and a force that is uh, organizing and redirecting everything. They say everything is in its place and no one can stop them. They They're wrong. People. They're wrong. Our God is God. They are absolute fools. The creator of the universe has sent me and other witnesses before the people of this world. And I have been sent back from the dead at eight years of age. I see what's coming, and I know that my God is God. I have absolute faith in the creator God. I have a faith like the next breath of oxygen coming to me is coming from my creator. I know that no matter how great they think they are from their galactic armies and invaders, their mind control, their weapons transferred to our advanced satanic leaders that have gone to ceremonies like Bohemian Grove to cut out their own natural human consciousness. No. That's right. They, they are useless against the creator of the universe and they, they're full of such wild hubris. They think that they can defeat the one who literally made them exist. It's ridiculous. Well, and they what have the cremation you... of care at Bohemian Grove, and by the way, that's going to happen again this year in well, just about a need, month. What, what they need to do is, uh, fear only comes from, the, from Satan. Uh, when you pray and ask God to give you faith, because by the way, you don't get faith, you have to ask God for it. You give faith when you get a deposit of the temple shekel of your love for the Creator. When you put that temple shekel of love, you get it back. So when you read these documents, don't just get freaked out or shut your mind down and say, no, 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 Deagle is psychotic, he needs to be in a padded cell with a shot. No. What you need to do is look at it, use your intellect, go out and research other sources. So check out Michael Cesarian. Check out experts that have been on coast to coast that have talked about some of these things. Talk, listen to the people we have on like uh, Jonathan uh, you know listen check out all the sources you can then check read your Bible and then pray you got the two witnesses your intellect and your prayer and once you get a confirmation do something do anything that's exactly don't right. And what people don't do, need don't to just understand sit there and is, these, yeah. is these source documents are not to promote fear. Fear is the last thing we want to give these No, no, we powers. want to promote action. I tell people, no matter whether you're facing a serious medical problem, geopolitical, financial, whatever, you have to have knowledge, and then you have to get into prayer to say, okay, God, we're going to get through this, right? Or even if you're going to die, you're going to die well. Or even if you're going to have uh, go through a battle, you're going to die well, like the 300 that fought in, you know, back in ancient Greece. You know? What people well, need to understand is we're, we're in a, a battle that is the greatest battle of humanity was, will ever go through in all of human history. For a million right. years, no one will pass through a battle as great as the battle we're about to enter. Th that's and we exactly have been, right. And if we don't face that with a creator God uh, arming us spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, we're not going to make it. That's what I'm saying. Welcome back, and um, so let's go into some of the specifics of some of the most shocking things in these source documents. The main website to go to uh, is stopthecrime.net. And now, let's well, the I want to say a quote right now that will just pale with the conversation that you've just had, Dr. Deagle, but people need to hear this too. This was from William Casey, the CIA director in 1981. He said, quote, we'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false. So going from there, I want to take you into the NASA uh, war plan that is on our site, StopTheCrime.net, so that you understand the enormity of what you just heard Dr. Deagle say. On page 9, they say humans have taken over and vastly shortened evolution, and they will be directing evolution. Who's the they? Well, in the document, of course, NASA, the U.S. Air Force, DARPA, CIA, FBI, Southern Command, the entire um, agencies that are uh, in this apparatus of total destruction and annihilation of our planet and of human beings. The document in itself is about robots, cyborgs, and humans. And I want to tell you uh, what 
is more and more people are starting to understand is that science has created creatures that we've not seen before and that we have not had the ability to even imagine. The NASA war document is mind-blowing, and it will help lead you into what Dr. Deagle was saying earlier. It discusses right. many of the secret technologies which are held from all of us. These right. scientific technologies will and are transforming humanity as we know it, and they will define what it means to be human. In fact, they talk about how there will be so many different breeds of humans that we will outnumber breeds of dogs and cats. This is what is in store for us. They talk about... Um, how the military black budget and the misappropriation of tax dollars have funded this movement, and which is transhumanism, and the many major universities... And, and also the illegal drug trade. The main source of their funding is the illegal drug trade, which is run by MI5, MI6, and CIA. Two trillion dollars a year goes into their black op budgets, right in there with no oversight from Congress or the Senate. That's the main reason why the drug trade has been tolerated and advanced in Afghanistan and elsewhere, it's because they not only get to do genocide populations in the inner city of our, our cities and destroy the fabric of our civilization, but it also gives them $2 trillion to play with for advanced projects. Absolutely, and of course we know that many of their projects Career. are perfected, such as the weaponization of the weather, all the tornadoes, all of the death, destruction, uh, absolute tearing down of communities, putting people out of their homes, causing chaos. Order out of chaos is their definition, and what we saw in Oklahoma, what we're seeing across the board with much of this weaponized technology is absolute destruction of the fabric of our society, and to keep us so distracted we don't look at the larger picture. The picture is huge, and it is difficult for people to see. But if we you do, start no, 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 looking... no, it's not difficult. Let me explain. I'm going to just revise it a bit. It's difficult. If someone, a leader as I am, would have said this to me years ago, and I got little bits and pieces because I was a Firo Sigma guy, I got inducted back in 1977 after I was wanting to research uh, at UCLA and multiple sclerosis, I got security clearance to work on the MS Tissue Brain Repository with Dr. Wallace Tortelock at the VA in Santa Monica and UCLA. The other four projects were all DARPA projects for the super soldier. So after security clearance, I found out exactly what it was doing. They're using a female template, going to horizontally insert genes from animals and create cyborg super soldiers connected to a battlefield matrix where thought commands could directly set off ordinances. These human beings would have 12 times the strength of, an, of a regular human being, be able to 145 to 150 pounds, but could carry a 300-pound backpack, run 45 miles an hour, jump 35 to 40 feet, rip your heart out with a blink of an eye, and wear t nanotech body armor that could block any bullets, and have the speed of a jackal, the eyes of an eagle, and the reflex of a stingray and people don't understand don't understand that this is their objective their objective is to create a new super race of super robot cyborg warriors their idea is to wipe out most of humanity to get life extension and other technologies to interact with advanced civilizations across the cosmos and transfer and trade technologies so that they crush the nature of humanity and direct their own evolution like the people of Gattaca this is the objective when people well, say they are just fact, delusional they're delusional so they don't want to listen. I'm going to tell them straight up, I'm not telling them this secondhand as an author or writer of a book. I'm someone who's been there. Well, I Dr. rejected Eagle, this. I want to say page 66 of the NASA war plan, it says this, increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides large, too heavy, too tender, too slow, too slow physically and mentally. We require too much cost and humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value added. We recently went to Al Gore's new book signing and his new book is called The Future. He talks about Earth Inc. He talks about there are no more jobs coming back to the United States. The middle class is being hollowed out. This is a, a minor depth of what we've just been talking about, but it's very important to understand so that you can elevate your ability to think beyond what is really happening. Yeah, but if, but if you don't stretch your mind to what I'm saying, and what I'm is saying, I'm going to start doing more and more into this other 90 percent. It'll it'll upset people. They'll say, Doctor Deagle, you're a good doctor, but I can't listen to you anymore. Tough. Walk away. Well, don't I want turn to tell you right now. Don't ask any more questions. Don't let your mind actually consider that maybe what I'm saying is true, because you have to tell. I have to tell you, I can't tell you how many months or years I'm going to be able to still be on the radio. I can't tell you how many months or years I have left to be able to speak to you because I'm in this realm. 
I can't tell you how many more months and years people like me will even be able to speak when they have the kill switch with Obama and his bunch of yahoos, when they have the total control of the Internet and they have snooping. I can guarantee you I'm not on the uh, blue list. I'm on the red, you're dead list. I don't have a place in a civil detention camp. I have a bullet with its name engraved on the side of it. Well, so people I need to understand, when I'm saying about... these things, I am not afraid of death. I am fearful of only one thing, and I'm fearful in love of my Creator God, and they better fear me. These globalists, they should shake in their boots when they hear what you say this, because I tell you, like Moses, my ancestor, I will not tolerate this crushing of humanity anymore. Let my people go is what I say today. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. In fact, when you look at these source documents, you will understand these plans so that we can sidestep this, so you'll be aware, so that you won't tremble in fear. Because in the silent weapons document, they say when the silent weapon is applied gradually, the, the public adjusts, adapts to its presence, and learns to tolerate its encroachment on their lives until the pressure and, and, psychological and eventually becomes, a, and becomes, eventually does... becomes too great and they crack up. Well, what they want to do is they want people to no longer avoid the negative stimulus. They want them to just finally just stop avoidance. Just accept the fact that they're crushed and they're a victim. That's right. We can't be a victim. They say that the, the silent weapon is a biological warfare. We are under attack. We are at war right now. And if you take any other position with your current reality than understanding that, you are massively in denial. So go to StopTheCrime.net, look at these source documents, and get out of the box, because we have been massively deceived, <clears throat> massively lied to, and massively ill-educated. Pull your children out of school. Get them uh, educated. Education yeah. that will at least teach them that global warming is not a reality. They're right. learning uh, all this uh, conscripted uh, uh, study programs that are just going to continue to sink any hope. Well, I, I, get, I get updates from Australia all the time about uh, one of the nurses down there, her name is Margaret, and she keeps on giving updates that they have these uh, unbelievable, they're literally using Australia as a test laboratory to train these children to believe the green agenda. Obama would love to get away with that here in America. Well, the they're working is, on it. They're moving in common core curriculum. That's not going to happen. I can tell you what will happen to America. America now is like ancient Israel in one of its low points where it's going to come back and there's going to be a revival. It didn't happen after 9-11. After all these scandals and the exposure to five years plus now of the monster in the White House, the illegal alien in the White House with a satanic agenda and globalist agenda, I thank God every morning for my family and all the wonderful people like yourself, Deborah, and all the people listening to this program. And then I thank God for Obama. I thank God for Hitler, Rott, and Clinton. I thank God for the people in Bohemian Grove and all the nasties that make it so self-evident that when I tell them, that this agenda is there, just like Jesus said about, you know, be aware of who can cast you into the, into the darkness of the, of the flaming pit of fire and hell and destroy the soul. We're facing this right now. We're we facing... are, and there's another document that people need to go and see, too. We have it under the NASA war document on StopTheCrime.net, but you need to go to BioApp. It's a website, and it's um, called DataAsylum.com. Go and take a look at that. You'll start seeing more of what Dr. Beagle is talking about, but not as deep as what you're hearing him say. But at least it's going to start you'll moving connect you the into you'll the reality. Con- you'll start connecting the dots. You need to see the forest and the trees. You That's can fill right. in the details. Details. Once, like you read your Bible, just read your Bible. If you read it with the eyes open, and you read people like we're going to get uh, L.A. Marzulli talking about the his proof of the ancient giants and aliens and the other beings on this planet and how they were ruling over the ancient peoples of South America and the Middle East, etc. This is not a delusion. This is an ugly reality. And once we face it, we can defeat it with the power of the Most High God. Once we face the reality of what our enemy is and what their agenda is, we can get out of the way. Thank you, Deborah. We'll have you back on soon. Coming up, Hour 2, our Wellness Hour, and then Hour 3, Dr. David Steenblock back. An update on major stem cell research.